Jason Turn here again on my Friday video. Uh, so last week um, I said that I might revisit Christmas trees. Um, well, being that we're coming up to all the Christmas fairs, I thought, yeah, maybe, let's revisit it, let's do it again uh, and see how we go. So this week I have this off cut of what I believe might have been oak once upon a time, but it did come from a leg of a table, so repurposing. Very good for the old uh, recycling scheme and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we'll get that mounted up on the lathe uh, and then we'll start turning some shapes. Yeah, uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to find centre first, so let's do that. Doesn't take a minute, usually, unless something terrible happens. Well, there's one. And there's the other. Ugh. Nice and flat to rest against the wood. Give it a spin. Awesome. Okay, well in the usual way of turning something round, a uh, square into something round, let's give this thing the old spindle roughing gouge. The next thing on the uh, the list is to make myself a tenon. Don't need to take much off there. Wee bit more. Perfect. Alright then, let's get it mounted into something a little bit more stable. Now we've got ourselves our, our little tenon. All set. Lovely. Reasonably round. Just going to bring up a little bit of tow stock support. And there we are. Whoa. Bit of oil on the bed needed there, I think. Going to make myself a 17 centimetre tree. So, uh, bearing in mind, I'm going to take a little bit off the top when it comes to trimming. That's the tree, uh, and the actual tree body itself is going to be about 13 centimetres. So that will be the branches, and this will be the trunk and the base inclusive. Wow. It will soon be time to put the heater on in the workshop, or shed as I call it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to use my uh, spindle roughing gouge. Uh, it has had a tickle on the tormac recently. Um, just so that I can shape this down to a point because you want to work on the, uh, the the tree end first before you work on the base because this is the bit that takes an awful lot of cutting so anyway why don't we get on with it So at this point I've switched out to my shorter tool rest and also what I'm doing now is I'm lining up the tool rest parallel with the uh, the curve of the tree 
I know it's not particularly smooth yet but I haven't quite finished but uh, now I've got that I can gauge how much of a cut I'm doing from top to bottom so let's get on complication is that I'm now turning left-handed which is awkward for me being a right-handed person but you don't need to make it super smooth because I'll show you the reason why uh, in just a second I don't find quite so attractive about a tree is when you have too many branches uh, up here I like to have them a little bit wider and maybe two or three because I think they can look too busy uh, I might have done that a bit wrong hang on a minute let's get the old magic rubber out <laughs> Maybe here, here, and here. Yeah, that looks all right. Now I've got my uh, my parameters set. Let's just give ourselves some uh, lines. Do some turning. It all rest, it's not letting me smoothly flow over it, so let me just give that a wipe. Each branch is just ever so slightly concaved, just to give the approach of a, the sweeping effect that trees have, but it is more, uh, you don't do it super sweepy, I don't think, anyway, anyway, who knows, everyone's tree looks uh, perfect to themselves, don't they, so um, this is the way I like a tree. Gonna get a bit boisterous with a parting tool now. Oh, I know. Everyone likes getting boisterous, don't they? Given a, a slight chamfer to the uh, <coughs> the trunk of the tree, just so that it's coming down a little bit. It's a little bit stylized in my view. Um, I like it like that though. If it's straight, it just looks a bit normal. So uh, anyway, that's why I have a slightly uh, beveled, chamfered trunk. Next is the base. Uh, 
the eagle eyed this tree has ended up just a little bit smaller than what I anticipated but it doesn't make a difference that's fine okie dokie let's get the right tool out now I'm going to use this tiny little gouge uh, the size of it is a 10 millimeter gouge that's the outside diameter I'm just going to give myself a nice bit of shape on the on the foot of the tree. As you can see, I used a little bit of a shear cut with the gouge um, just to shape it off a little bit. Underside is looking flat, uh, no tear out on the edges, uh, and a nice, not overly big foot for the uh, tree to stand on. Ta -da! Time to sand at 120. Let's give it a bit of a blow off. And now I'm going to put a little bit of tissue underneath because it gets messy. I'm going to brush on some sanding sealer. Making sure you get it all in your nooks and crannies. And then we'll give it a bit of a wipe. On a slow, slower speed. Slow, slower. Definitely a slow slower. A bit of double O double O wire wall. Hmm. <laughs> Just speed it up a bit. <laughs> Just a D nib it. Oh, that was me head butting the camera. And then a little bit of carnauba wax. I've got these things separate sticks for trees because it's got little cutouts where I can get into places easier and turn them around and get them in. It's a well worn piece of wax. So that's wax on. With a little bit of karate kid. Here's wax off. Let's speed it up a bit more. Nice. All that is left is to take off with a slight undercut
little dimple on the bottom. Let's just get rid of that. Well there we are, cut the dimple off, give it a little bit of sanding sealer at the bottom. But there we have a fairly plain and simple but nice looking Christmas tree I would say. Didn't take long to do. Doesn't take too many cutting techniques to make it work. Uh, and you end up with <coughs> something that's quite saleable at uh, Christmas um, shows, fairs. Probably sold hundreds, I should imagine. Uh, and for that, I would expect to go between, I don't know, sort of 12 and 18 pounds, depending on what type of show you're doing. Um, but the actual time and the wood. Uh, well, the wood for me on this one was free because I sawed it off of a table I mullered. <coughs> anyway, but there you are. The time is really the main thing, and the and the power of your lathe. Yeah, nice. I think so. Very scalable. Like I said, um, you can make them as small or as large as you want. Just follow the same sort of routine, and it looks all right. Well, there we are again. Here we are. I just dropped it in the wet grass. Luckily there's wax on it. Anyway, nice little Christmas tree. Uh, that will go in my collection for my Christmas fairs. Thank you for watching. Uh, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed um, watching me making one of my little trees. Sorry about the squinting and the blinking. It's my... Um, super bright light is uh, actually quite blinding and I've got <laughs> dust all over my glasses so uh, anyway back to the point um, yeah so uh, please like and subscribe if you've uh, enjoyed what I've done um, sorry about the noise of the builders if you can hear them in the background there's somebody's having a new roof opposite how inconsiderate eh but uh, yeah so thanks again and I'll see you again soon for more fun at the lathe. In the workshop full of dreams.